Good afternoon guys, we're heading back to the slopes, we, uh, we're feeling a little bit worse for wear today, aren't we, aren't we guys? Not me, it's much as Dave. The other boys headed out like an hour or two ago. Yeah, we, we, were, we did a lot of things yesterday. We, we're achy. Guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. Hello. Check this bear out. That is massive. Yeah, he's amazing. Where's this bear from? Stuff we have is roadkill, drain kill from here. Oh, okay. Well. Wow. Look at those claws. claws yeah. <laughs> Dave, imagine being punched in the face of that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Okay. Really long. I've always thought if I saw a bear, I'd want to cuddle it, but maybe not. <laughs> I don't think so. I love that the guy told us that the schnauzer is 1,300 times more effective than our nose. Oh yeah, the guy yesterday, wasn't it? It's the ultimate smell thing. Yeah, dude. Wow. <laughs> well, thanks for showing us your bear. You're welcome. Have a good day, guys. Thanks. We seem to have uh, lost Nick somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where he disappeared to. Thought he was right behind us. Well, we shot down to the bottom of the mountain to see if we could find Nick. But he's not here either. I do not know where he went. I hope, I hope he's all right. Oh, I guess we can just wait here for him. The conditions are, are not as nice today at all there. They're quite icy. The slopes are quite icy. Where are you, Nick? Where are you, bro? Oh, look who we found! Yes, guys! Nicky boy's back! We found him, we found him. We were starting to worry a little bit, to be honest. We I thought he'd like peeled off and clonged his head on the tree or something. Glad he's, I'm glad he's alright. Oh, well, so, what happened, Nick? You guys went ahead and then I, um, I'm, I, w I went down left and I couldn't get back up because you guys went right. And then that meant that I was, um, I had to like, try and cut across some trees to get to you guys. But it was literally just ice falls, like all this ice and these tiny, like short little turns, which I couldn't do on this board. It's oh, just, like, bro. I mean, it's the tools, it's not me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a pro. Yeah. So we're gonna hit one more run before lunch. And we're, we're gonna try and keep an eye on Nick. getting some food. And I just noticed this icicle outside guys. Check out the size of that icicle. That's ridiculous. That could kill someone easily. Thank you man. It's not for me, it's not for me. Calories all in that caddy and this. Mm, mushroom soup. We've gone up for one more, one more awesome descent down the mountain. Speedo run bro. Speedo run. Dave's got the speedo out going. Like Guys, sure. tell me below, what's the fastest you've ever gone on snowboarding, snowboard, or skis? And survived. Yeah. <laughs> Be honest. 
Dave's going to hit 50 miles an hour today. Let's try and hit 50. You can hit 50. You can hit 50. You can hit 50. You can hit 50. Yeah, that app's dangerous. Get off of It's gamifying your life. Gamifying your danger. But a weird thing. That was an awesome last run of the day. I think it's time to go and jump in the hot tub now. Just playing some tunes for the journey back. Woo! We've just been chilling in the hot tub relaxing for a couple of hours. Steve's actually heading to bed early because he had a very late night. I had a late night. Dave was a bad influence on me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get, I've had a little room service. Yeah, just had some dinner. Yeah. Night, man. Have a nice, um, <laughs> have a nice, are you, are you eating now? Yeah, we're gonna go and get some food, yeah. Enjoy, see you in the morning. Peace. Oi, let's go get some food, boys. Yeah, boy. Dinner time. Dinner time. Sick doors, do it, do it, Dave. Do the cowboy. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Are you going in tonight? <laughs> I'm going in going to my bed. Okay. Um, Dave was here. Dave was here till 3 a.m. last night in this bar. Louis, I don't know what you're talking about. No. <laughs> All right, awesome. Dinner has arrived. Uh, yes, yeah, broccoli. Good night, boys. Night. Night. See, you, see you in the morning. Yeah, yeah see you in the morning. Mm -hmm. What? You shut up. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> night, mate. Hey, wait for my vlog. Toodaloo! Night! Well, it's been a pretty relaxed afternoon and evening, hanging with the boys, just catching up. Um, this is one of the main reasons I wanted to get together with everyone and have some quality time together like this. And um, yeah, it's been good. It's been a little bit more chill today than yesterday. Obviously, we were um, like snowboarding, snowshoeing, ice skating, and um, we just got a little bit of boarding in today. But it, it was still a lot of fun. We're actually heading to Sunshine Village, which is another ski resort nearby, and we are going to move to another hotel over in Ban. Banff for the remainder of the trip tomorrow so that should be fun um, but before I go guys I wanted to um, show some of the responses you gave to the question that I asked last week which, which was what do you love about yourself? Hi Louie my name is Angelie and one thing that I love about myself is my ability to freely express how much I'm grateful and thankful for the people around me. Something I love about myself is that I never stop believing. I love passion, my passion. My favorite thing about myself is that I don't really care what people think. My ability to keep on trying. That I play music and I teach other kids piano. I have a positive outlook on life. I always try to look for the best in the people that I meet and that I know. I can create art. My ability to make people happy. What I love about myself is that I can make the people around me happy and smile even if the day they're having is not the best. Yeah, thanks for sending those in guys. I really appreciate it because it actually makes me feel like I'm not just talking to a camera but there's lots of people, real people, um, that really think about their lives and some of these questions I'm asking. Um, and these aren't necessarily the best questions but they're questions I've thought about and I think are important and I think especially this question loving about loving yourself I think in our society um, particularly um, we're not encouraged to or it's di more difficult to love yourself and I think it's easier to um, find things to hate or to criticize about who we are and I think um, it's it's great to celebrate the things that we do love so thanks for sending those in guys and I'm gonna well and I'm gonna ask another question well 
I'm going to ask another question that is, um, what's the question? The question is, okay, if you didn't have to work and spend your time working for money, so that isn't an issue, that's sorted in your life, um, so you never have to worry about an income, what would you spend your time doing? So give, give that some thought. Um, it's going to be different for everyone, obviously, because of our pa different passions. But imagine if you didn't have to, and maybe some of you are lucky enough that are watching that you don't need to work for an income. Maybe you've inherited a lot of money. Maybe you've already made all the money you need and you've retired. I don't know. But um, what do you spend your time doing? Um, it's something I've thought about. Like, at what point do you not need to um, focus on income? Um, I mean, obviously, that's a very privileged position to be in but anyway there's the question I'll let you guys think about it um I'll the emails below that you can send those video responses in and um and I will be showing those uh answers in a vlog next week right I will see you in the morning and I'm going to get some rest now because I haven't been sleeping a lot peace out enjoy life and live the adventure boom